extinct volcano that is Autobot headquarters. A strange experiment is taking place. But this experiment is not the brainchild of Autobot scientist Wheeljack, but of their human friend, Sparkplug. We are ready for your demonstration, Sparkplug. Right, Optimus Prime. You're under our protection. Let Shira handle this. Well, I just wanted to see what I could do with a big pile of spare Autobot parts and a whole lot of human ingenuity. We are colleagues. Allies. I don't think we are buddies. So I built this big guy. Autobot X. Wow, it's like some kind of robot Frankenstein monster. Franken what, Spike? Oh, it'd take too long to explain, Bumblebee. Okay! me with my homework instead. I sure could use a hand. Maybe this summer thing won't be that bad. I understand. As does Orko. No! Oh, right! <laughs> now, let's see if my little invention works. Another Autobot? Even if it works, who needs it? Hey, look! Dad did it! Autobot X is alive! What was the cause? Jack, you're not the only mad scientist around here. Maybe I can do something to improve on your model, spark plug. Oh, this wasn't what I had in mind. Jack, trick or treat. Hey, it's not supposed to do that. working. I can't control it. We'll have to stop him. Got you, boss. We'll teach that walking junk pile some manners. Thanks for the force field, Trailbreaker. Now it's our turn. I'll hit him with these acid pellets until he drops! You might not have to wait that long, pal, buddy. Wow, Dad, you kind of created a metal Frankenstein's monster. Prime, I guess Autobot X better be put in storage. At least until I get it perfected. But why? Don't worry. After all, it's my job and I'm pretty good at it. and I'll help. You know, I'd like to find a way to transfer mental impulses to Autobot X. Then, if an Autobot is damaged, his mind could still function in Autobot X while his body was being repaired. Talk about spare parts. Your idea may have merit, Wheeljack. There's only one reason Teletran 1 sounds that alarm. The presence of Decepticons in the vicinity of the new Air Force rocket base. Autobots, transform and roll out. Ironhide, Ratchet, Prowl, Windcharger, Brawn. And we'll be able to see things no one has ever... Rockets, General! That energy now belongs to us! Now, before any of us such petty annoyances present themselves, do you consider us petty Megatron? Autobots, transform! Patriots, do! You know 
But Spike will require immediate medical attention if he is to survive. I'll get into the hospital fast. I'll provide an escort to get him there faster. If only there were a way of separating Spike's mind from his body while we work. Doctor, maybe there is a way. It's a one in a billion chance, but if it'll save my boy, we gotta take... Can't you work any faster, Ratchet? I hope your theory works, Wheeljack. It should. With my cybernetic attachments, I'll transfer the mind of your son into the robot form of Autobot X. The human physicians will have time to perform the operation. Transfer the mind of your son into the robot form of Autobot X. The human physicians will have time to perform the operation on Spike's real body. Okay, Wheeljack. Do it! Spike, my son! Spike, do you know me? It's your dad! Dad? I'm Spike? Spike? Me? No! No! Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. thing we could do to save you you'll only be in that robot body till the doctors at the hospital fix up your real one yeah guess you did what you could but it's hard to think like something's telling me to do bad things 
must be a side effect of the mind transfer. Sorry about that outburst, Dad. Spike, Sparkplug, some of the other Autobots and I are needed back at the rocket base. We've got to help repair the damage done during our battle with the Decepticons. Meanwhile, Spike, every comfort will be provided to you here. Thanks, Prime. Did she just say a few days? We wanted it to be perfect for you. So we worked together to finish. That was my idea. Glimmer, it's time. is an Autobot body, and the state of his mind is questionable. Interesting. Perhaps I can turn this situation to my advantage and use this Autobot Spike to destroy the other Autobots. You've made such boasts before, Megatron, but the Autobots still exist. Be careful what you say, ambitious one. Or I'll turn Autobot Spike's power against you! <laughs> what supreme irony! Turning their friend into their foe! Ratchet, how much longer? Don't blow another gasket, Bumblebee. I'm almost done. Still have to fix your radio transmitter. Enjoying the movie, Spike? Uh, yeah, Wheeljack. Thanks for patching Teletran 1 into that TV station. creation of yours, made from mismatching parts, and an evil brain is a monster who will destroy us all! Nonsense! He will be grateful for the giant, powerful body I've given him. You see, Doctor, you've created a monster! A monster! No! A monster! That's what you turned me into! A robot monster! Just like I thought, Spike's mind is... No, don't say it! to finish the job later, Bumblebee. <laughs> no! You'll never take me! Yeah! Where will he go? What will he do? In his present mental state, who knows? Then maybe somebody better find out. Bumblebee, wait! I still have to repair your radio transmitter! Reflector to Megatron! I have it in my sights and will maintain watch until your arrival! What a drag! Trapped inside this walking garbage can! 
Should I use my new size, my power to help the world like Optimus Prime does? It's the only way! No! Why should I? I'm not like Prime! I'm a monster! Metal Frankenstein monster! With enough power to conquer mankind! My way. Spike, wait! It's me, your pal, Bumblebee! Bumblebee! Listen, there was a side effect to the experiment. That's making it hard for you to think right. No! You're trying to trick me! As if I had to ask. You did well, Reflector! Don't die always! Huh? Good! Let him come! More enemies! Yeah, man! I'm getting to like this powerful robot body of mine! Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. Megatron! I must say you've improved your appearance since our last encounter, Spike! Easy for you to say, Megacrom. Way I see it, I've become a monster! Like you! Monster? I am no monster! This is ridiculous! We Decepticons are but sentient machines who've discovered our destiny in this vast universe. Will you join us, Decepticons, and be second only to me? Together we will punish those who did this to you! I... I don't know. It's getting harder and harder to think. Then let Megatron think for you, Autobot Spike. Will you join us? Right, Megatron. We'll make them all pay for what they did to me. Pay I'm here today because Queen Angela, my mother, sacrificed herself to save Etheria. We can't let her bravery be in vain. But there's so much we still need to do. And we know there's an even larger army out there somewhere. We can't let them win. It's time for us to take back our home. Together, we will push once and for all. <laughs> Or pr Touch there. You there! Hold! I will! Hold! Optimus, Megatron is telling lies to Spike, and Spike's starting to believe him. I feared something like this would happen. Bumblebee, lead the way. Sun Kings, ready yourself! Yeah. 
stuff you stole was going back. I just knew you guys would get here sooner or later. Spike, we come to help you. Soon your real body will be repaired and we can return your mind to where it belongs. Son. Thanks. Dad, it was me who put you in danger in the first place. Can you ever forgive me? Spike, there's nothing to forgive. We've given him the best possible treatment, Mr. Whitwicky. The rest is up to you and the Autobots. Guess this is the last time I'll get to see myself from the outside. You fixed this gadget good, Ratchet. Okay, Wheeljack, zap me back home. Astral Beast, where are you? Show yourself. Why not? Does this dance please you, Astral Beast? Does this please you? It's overloading. It can't take much more.
home. Good planning session. Thanks, guys. Oh, wow. I'm... I'm back. Back where I belong. Turbos. Maybe we could... You know, Wheeljack, I could probably repair that mess, but I think it best that I don't. Hmm, I wonder... I wonder what it'd be like for a robot mind to be transferred to a human. in the world more powerful than goodness. And when you practice kindness, it not only helps others, but it gives you a good feeling inside. Until next time. <laughs>